Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded, but uh, I'm back now and, uh, well, hopefully better than ever. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. What we're making today is crunch wraps. <laughs> If you've ever been to Taco Bell and had a crunch wrap, you have the idea. But they kind of look like this. And I should obviously take this opportunity to introduce everybody to my new assistant, the Google Companion. Uh, Google sent over a prototype. They said they wanted to test it on a channel where almost nobody would see it. So as of right now, that's still this. So <laughs> if everybody starts flooding in, I'm going to have to ship it back. So please stop watching. I'm kidding. But um, that's a crunch wrap. And we're going to make our own with, these are not the most important part. The most important part is the large tortilla. And what you do is obviously you're going to take a big round tortilla, put in your seasoned beef or whatever you want to use for protein and then your other ingredients or your other warm ingredients like cheese and stuff like that. Then you want to take a tostada shell, which I have, and set that on there. And you're just layering it. You're layering the flavors and then you can add in your cold ingredients or whatever. Take one of these, drop it on top of that, wrap the edges up around, set it face down in a pan to toast it so that it seals it together. Flip it over, toast the other side, and then you're good to go. So we're gonna be making two different flavors. First one's gonna be more traditional, uh, kind of a taco supreme flavor. And the second one is going to be Big Mac flavored. And to go ahead and get started, we're gonna put some oil in the pan, get that heating up and go ahead and add in our ground beef. Don't do it this way at home, kids. It's okay. All right. And just break that up, move it around. I'm doing this in the wok because it's a large amount of beef. I'm doing about roughly, oh, two and a, I'm turning it down a little bit. Two and a half pounds, roughly. I have no idea how many crunch wraps this is going to make, but should make a couple. Get that going. I don't want it to burn onto the bottom. Hey, let me say hi. Okay. Say what you got to say. Hi. That's it? That's all you got? Yeah, what do you want? You know, I stopped the whole cooking show just so you could say hi. Well, you didn't Whatever. do it. All right, so I'll go ahead and do a better job of what, you know, nuts and bolts over here tried to do. I can hear you. I don't care if you can hear me. So what this is is I'll just get this out of the way. So... This is the Google Companion, as I said earlier, it's a prototype from Google. Uh, it does everything that the Google Home can do, you know, turn off and on lights, set up, uh, you know, schedules, look things up on the internet, you know, cast stuff to your TV mm -hmm. or your Chromecast, all that stuff. Uh, it also has a built-in, uh, what they're calling a near artificial intelligence. Um, it's not what a full you AI, near? you know, what? it's not quite that smart. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I don't care. I told you, dude. <laughs> but um, sure. it's been here for, you know, a week and a half. So um, he's been helping me in the kitchen and trying to work him into the show. It's because I'm smarter than he, you. Uh, he's been bugging me about getting on camera. And better looking. He says he's way better looking than me. See? Which, you know what? If I was, you know, some pixels and could change my face all the time, I'd probably be a little bit better looking too. I'm skinnier too. You don't even have a body. How can you lose weight? 
whatever. So, anyways, back to the crunch wrap. I forgot what I was going to even... Happens okay. a lot. Uh, as you can see, huge help in the kitchen. I'm um, going to go ahead and put this into a bowl. And just so that I have my two different kinds of hamburgs separated, collect all my ingredients. As with most things like this that require assembly, you're going to want to cut everything up that needs to be cut up ahead of time so that you can just take bowls and assemble. Um, these are fun because you can do these with your kids. Uh, you can just assemble everything and then, you know, they can pick and choose what they want for ingredients and then you can just take it, wrap it up, put it in the pan, which I'm not using this one. I'm going to use a, a ceramic coated uh, pan, but, uh, and then just toast it and they can take it and hold it in their hands and uh, go with it. And uh, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up everything. I'm going to use these scissors that I have to finish the last bit of mincing on these onions because I want to have minced onions for the Big Mac ones because obviously that's what you have with the Big Mac. So you go ahead and just obviously cut these up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up because the little rings will break up on their own. I think that should be enough. Thin and dry. That layer there. All right, grab this bowl, set it here, grab one of these, and just start cutting it up. All right. And if you get any bits that aren't really cut up well, just grab them. If you get some caught in the between these scissors, if you happen to buy them, don't worry about it right off because you can always, it's always going to get pushed out when you cut up more. These are good for green onions. Like if you want to make those little rings of green onion or scallion for Asian cooking, this is great. And just cut against the uh, grain. Okay, so maybe three layers was ambitious. Oh well, we're getting it done. All right. Done messing with those little pieces in the middle. Okay. And there is your onions. Diced. My hand off. I don't think I can't get rid of the onion smell without stainless steel. But then we'll move on to the pickles. I'm gonna go with Vlasic, but you go with whatever pickle uh, works best for you. Like that. 
trim that one up too. We'll do three. Three of these spears. All right, and this one here is going to trim like that. I want, you know, triangular shaped. Just seems like that would be a, the best texture to have. And just go through them like this. You don't want them too big, but you don't want them too small. Just kind of use your judgment as far as what you like. All right. And now we've reached the point where we're going to start assembling everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pan, uh, get my pan on the heat and um, you know you're going to want it around medium and uh, just get it up to a warm temperature so that it's all ready so that once you have everything together and you have it wrapped and you're holding it you're not also trying to turn on the burner and then you have to hold it and wait so just do that little bit it's of prep and then this will go a lot easier for you this next step. And now we got our assembly station going here so we're going to go ahead and Drop a flour tortilla and confession time. This is the second one I've made because this is the first one, which looks great on this side, but this one was the first side that I put down on the pan and it was a little too warm. So we live and learn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set the pan down on a lower setting so you want it on like medium low and you want it to not be on there super long so but back to step uh, whatever step this is I lost track so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the taco beef down and you're gonna want to circle roughly the size of that tostada. But not too thick. So I'm going to go with that up root right there. And then I'm going to add in some cheese. The sharp cheddar. Again, if you the further you get out away from the center here, this little, you know, six to eight inch circle, whatever you're post out of shell sizes are, the more that's going to get difficult to wrap up. All right, and now I'm going to add the toast out of shell, which is boom, roughly that big. Set that down, see it's about the right size. I'm going to go ahead and add some refried beans to this, which doesn't need to be thick, but you just want that flavor on there, so you want it to have each bite have a, a bite of every ingredient. So a thin layer works fine. If I can get off the spoon. So. All right, that's pretty good there. Go ahead and put this face down like that. And as you can see, the hamburger is roughly the size of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some lettuce. Just shredded lettuce, regular iceberg. And if you have any escapees, just put them back on the island. And da da da. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the zesty ranch just for kind of a sour cream substitute because I wanted a little seasoning but nothing too heavy. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the pico. Yeah. Try to drain as much of the liquid 
off of it as you can. As I just sling it on there. All right. And now we're going to add doop, the soft tortilla right on top. Try to keep it centered, kind of press it down so that it's not going to be any more difficult to fold than it needs to be. And then you just start at one edge, fold it over, keep going around like this. This looks harder than it is, it's just, it's origami, it's what it is, it's putagami. Origami is the Japanese art of folding paper into Yeah, I don't care what origami fingers. really is. You know what? Not the time. Dude, I'm just trying to help. So you go ahead and fold it around till you get something like this. And then you're going to want to throw it right in the pan. Which I will rotate this out of the way so that it's I can fall apart. do it. Whatever. Clearly a well thought out operation. And if your tortillas are too stiff, as some of them are, um, then just put them in the microwave for you know, a few seconds, Sim 10 or 15. Stiff. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hold this together as best I can. Set it face down. Just kind of give it a pat. I'm rotate these out. a little more heat. And this is going to go really quick. It might not even take 30 seconds. I'm a little gun shy because the last one got burnt, so... <laughs> It seemed like it burned like really quick, as in, I'm nervous that this one will too. It's getting there. Give her about 10 more seconds and then it should be. There we go. Comes apart a little bit, but that's because I got too creative with it. Done. There's that. Okay. And now that we've got uh, these, they're all just kind of self-contained. Mmm. Smells like toasted tortilla. Doesn't really taste, doesn't really smell like, like tortilla. what's inside, which is good, which means it's sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and set the, those two right there, the ones I made already, the and get started on the Big Mac. And again, Start off with our tortillas. This one here has the regular hamburg. Takes a little bit more concentration to keep it in the center because it doesn't have the seasoning hold it to, holding it together. 
but with a little bit of force of will you can and again this is going to be a double layer because you got to have the two layers or it's not a Big Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and do that throw a little bit of onions on it and then I'm gonna go with the shredded cheese And this is going to be a crunchy Big Mac. So we'll do that. We'll add in the pickles. Let's see. I'm going to cut up a couple of these because they weren't really, they were a little bigger than I wanted them to be. I'm sure people looking at the video will say, yeah, those looked a little big. Oh well using little pieces back in okay there's that and we have a lieu of secret sauce or special sauce or Big Mac sauce or whatever you want to call it we're gonna go with Thousand Island which I haven't opened yet. I'm just opening now. Because I don't have assistance. <laughs> this ain't emerald, okay? So, put in a little bit, a couple drops. They don't need a ton. There we go. Set that aside. What am I doing? Got tostada. So, we're gonna go with a tostada right here. I'll do it like this because it's gonna settle better. Then you do it all again. This is so gonna fall off. I got the one tostada shell that's shaped like a freaking pyramid. You know what? We're committed. I don't even care. You get underneath here. I'm stubborn. We're doing it this way. Okay. So, that back all on there. A little bit of onion. There's that, and a slight amount of pickles, which I am going to cut up. I want to get, you know, that looks like a good amount. So, don't always have to get it right on the first try. Honestly, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get it right on the first try, but that's what cooking's about. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on there, and I will put the sauce on top of this after. You know what? I forgot one ingredient. So again, lettuce. Yeah. Where were you guys? Yeah, where were you? Do what do you mean? You were supposed to help me with this. Yeah, every time I try to suggest something, you yell at me. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. It's pandemic. We're all having yeah. problems. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about the pandemic. So go ahead and put that there. This back here. And... Da, 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 set that there. This ready. Little Thousand Island. Again, I don't know why they need to. They can't have a smaller opening. There's that. 
and a little lettuce. I'll put the cheese on last. All right, there's that. And the cheese. Okay. Take the burrito shell, press it down a little bit, and then scale it back on. You don't want to wrap this one tight because of all the layers. And just go around folding it over. Each step. Oh no, it broke on me. See, that's why you don't pull too hard. All right. There's that. And go ahead and put it in the pan. And if you can slide it around, you, know, you want to make sure it's not sticking pretty early on because if you're trying to unstick it towards the end, it can be difficult. Go ahead and flip it. And yeah, it's not perfect. Just put your first bite on that. Stick it. I'm too much fun. Now these are going to brown really quick on this, so you want to make sure to. Keep a watch on it. Yeah, because you so broke that's the last probably one. done. Yeah, it's close one. enough. So I'll set that aside for right now. Okay, and um, confession time. I've been tackling one of these most of the time between shots, <laughs> and they're amazing. Um, I've never had the one confession again. You know, um, I've never had the ones from Taco Bell. So I can't compare them, but this is amazing, and it kind of makes me wish I had already tried one so that I could compare the two. But uh, it's very good. The tortilla holds in a lot of the, the moisture. There's not a huge amount of moisture, but it's very soft. And uh, again, if you're not tasting your food as you're cooking, you know, obviously don't eat uncooked eggs and stuff like that, but if you're not drawn to wanting to taste your food as you're cooking, then maybe you're doing it wrong because, you know, anybody I know that as they're cooking, they're definitely tasting it to make sure that the seasoning's right, that, uh, you know, or they just want to eat it because some of us can't wait. Obviously, I'm one of them people. <laughs> so uh, as I it. continue to dig into this, these other ones are all set and done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut into them. And uh, during our food porn section, which we always close with, I know some of you may have forgotten because it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded, but uh, you're going to get an up close and personal look at the food and uh, hopefully it encourages you to do your own cooking and try out some of these recipes. Um, so as always, uh, we end the episode with the three things. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get to that food porn. Thanks guys. Thank you.